fun. I'll give you guys some good ones, though. I didn't get um, So this next example is basically all we're asking in this case, guys, is how do we go from f of x to g of x? All right? Now, for each one, you got to think, like, you got to preserve the operation in each one. For our a's, we're dealing with multiplication. So to go from one number to the next, we're going to be multiplying. Don't try to say, oh, how do I get to 3 to 2? Oh, I subtract 1. Yes, that is true. But remember, these are compressions and stretching, right? So we got to go from a compression to a stretching by multiplying or dividing, all right? not adding numbers. So how do I go from a 3 to a 2 by multiplication? And some of you might say, oh, uh, mm, I don't know. Well, let's algebraically write it out. 3 times what equals 2? 2 thirds. 2 thirds, right? That's the factor. And let's see if that like, makes sense. If I multiply 3 times 2 thirds, don't you get 2? Yeah, yes? Okay. Three. Right. So if I have to multiply this function by 2 thirds, that means, my, that means, uh, so that means I'm going to have to multiply on the outside by 2 thirds. What, operate, what would that be? First of all, it's going to be vertical, right? Because it's outside. But is that a stretch or a compression? Well, remember, the definition is if it's larger than 1, greater than 1, it's a stretch. If it's between 0 and 1, it's a compression. So, um, so 2 thirds is obviously less than 1, it is a vertical compression. One of the easy ways that we get people on this is I could give you guys, what if, like, what if I switched these around? What if I went from 2 to 3? Like, doesn't that make sense? Like, if you go from 2 to like, 3, you'd have to multiply by 3 halves. And people say, oh, fraction, it's a compression. Well, 3 halves, guys, is larger than 1, right? So just be like careful with that. Um, so it's a vertical compression of 2 thirds. All right, for the next one. This one is left 1, and you, need, and you need to go to left 4 or left 5. So how do you do that? So like here you are. One graph is left 1. You need to get to left 5. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to go left 4 more units, right? And again, remember, we're talking about addition and subtraction, so only talk about addition and subtraction. So, so yeah, we need to shift left 4. And then if I'm at negative 1 and I need to get up to positive 2, that means I need to go, well, negative 1 up 3. So you just say shift up 3. Mm -hmm. 